Hi grade 10 student. So in this video we are going to do a continuation. Remember the question paper that we were doing? The first part we were required to prepare an income statement which was containing a 40 max. So we are going to continue uh, from the notes of the balance sheet which is called owner's equity notes. Then after that we are going to complete the part that we are required to prepare in this case, they requested us to prepare a balance sheet, but, but not all of it. We were required to prepare owner's equity and liability section only, which means that in this case, we were not required to prepare an asset section. Okay, uh, let's continue. Then if you didn't watch the previous one, guys, click make, make sure that you join a membership so that you can be able to watch the other one because the other one uh, was compiled for those who join a membership and our subscribers make sure th th that you join that so that you will be able to watch the entire uh, income statement i will go i will show you the memorandum of the income statement that we were doing uh, so that you will see how marks are allocated for that income statement okay very important question uh, from our study guide so if you want to purchase a study guide just contact us so that you will be able to study on your own on your side as well okay let's read the question they say that um, prepare equity and liability account section is which is this one 11 marks and prepare the note for the owner's equity to the balance sheet which is statement of financial position which is this one okay now let's go to the information uh, they give us a pre-adjustment trial balance uh, from capital until a consumable store but we are not going to use the entire information okay now let's check the first part that we are going to prepare they ask us to to, to, to start with a balance at the beginning make sure that you know this format because this format it's a must for you to know it so that when you answer the question it's going to be simple just to lay down in a, a format like this then from there you just read the translation okay we are required to, to start with the balance at the beginning which is capital if you check on our trial balance we have a capital of 1 million but in this case it was a bit tricky because of the additional information number 13 that we have let's take information number 13 the owner invested a further 100,000 in the business to increase her capital contribution. And this has been properly recorded, which means that the 100,000 of addition, remember addition is recorded separate here, addition of 100,000 is recorded separate here, which means that at the beginning, it was not 1 million. It was before the add addition. 1 million minus 100,000 is going to give you opening balance of 900,000 that's how you work this one so which means that if you just copy uh, before reading that whether additional was recorded or not you're going to get it wrong from here and the rest is a history okay now we are going to net profit for the year net profit for the year guys we got it from the previous video of income statement that we prepared okay the balance that we got, I, I will show the income statement this side. Uh, it was 900, 900 and 400. Just like that. Okay, now we can proceed to the next one. A drawings, which we have to open a bracket, of course. Then if you check at the beginning, uh, they give us a drawings and the trial balance. A drawings amount. Uh, it was let me check drawings number two to 42,600 42,600 from there we need to check additional information if there is any drawings made by the owner if you check uh, additional information number uh, let's say quick information number three Lolo took a stock for the hair personal use at a cost of 4,800 for personal use is drawings 4800 we must add it here 4800 is going to increase what drawings that we have at the beginning of of the year 
every time guys don't just copy what is on the trial balance and paste it in total make sure that you go through all the adjustment and see if there is any adjustment related to it okay now let's calculate it's gonna give you remember drawings drawings we are taking which means that is going to be negative when you show negative in accounting must be in brackets okay amount is 47,400 just like that okay now let's move to the next part the next part we have to calculate the balance at the end the balance at the end uh, is very simple 900 plus 100 plus 900 minus 47,000 then it's gonna give us amount of 1,853,000 thousand okay then now we are done with this part let's move to the next one the next one uh, is owner's equity balance which we already calculated under this note is copy and paste one million eight hundred and fifty three thousand okay now let's go to the loan when you start you open a bracket and you, you take the balance and you adjust from additional information the loan balance it was 650, 652,000, 652, under a trial balance. If you check the loan from BM Bank, okay, then after that, uh, we are going to check if there is any current portion of a loan. Okay, information number 10, the loan statement from BM Bank. On 30 June 2019, it reflected the following balance, total repayment, uh, balance on 28, interest, capital amount. The one that we are focusing on is blitz number two. They said a capital amount of 70,000 will be paid off the loan in the next financial year. Those balance, total repayment, and what, what, we don't adjust it because balance at the end is 652 which we already write here which means that the next one which is not yet recorded is what uh, is capital amount capital amount is current portion of a loan in this case of a loan is current portion of a loan which is going to be paid within within 12 months is going to be paid in very short time which means that it's no longer part of what long term non-current is a long term current is a short term which means that we are going to subtract it here from long term and we put it here in a short term because it's going to be paid in short period not long period that's why we remove it here and we put it that side 70,000 okay and when we calculate the balance here it's gonna be 5 82,000. Okay, and uh, not here, guys. Not here, not here. Yes, this one is correct. This one is correct. Now we are going to this one. Okay, then total of non current liability is going to be like the same amount 58,000. Okay, now we are going to trade another payable. Which number one we must take what? A, a creditor's control a creditor's control amount is 380 380 and we check please go and watch the other balance sheet guys where i explain into detail what fall under trade in other payables because in this case uh, it was very short we only have two items which is creditor's uh, control and the second one it was accrued expense Accrued expense is transaction number 12. The telephone account for June 2019 has not been paid. We have been paid a telephone, which means that we are owing expense. Accrued expense, we must edit. It's liability, 1,600. And then you're going to get amount of 381,600 okay and the total here is gonna give us 575 400. all right 
Then after that, now we can calculate total equity and liability by adding everything. This one plus this one plus this one. It's going to give us 3 million and 10 and 400. So that's how we prepare this part. Those who want to join extra class is still available. Mathematics, math literacy, economics, accounting, business from grade 10 to grade 12. So if you want to join, make sure that you join as early as possible so that you can learn. And the study guide is soft copy, guys, uh, which is only 100 rand. We didn't do hard copy because it's going to be more expensive because to print out those books uh, is taking almost one uh, three something and the delivery is going to cost more which means that it's going to be more than 400 so only 100 rand a soft copy is available on whatsapp i will see you on the next one and i hope you subscribe so that you can be able to watch the other videos see you